complex plane is what we start with, then we draw a circle on it, and we're going to need a big one. To make a Julia fractal, we'll need to use this transformation on our circle. Not very fancy, is it? But what if we apply the same transformation to the resulting figure, marking the previous result with a different color? And again, and again, and once more. As you can see, the figure gets more and more complex. In theory, we can continue this process endlessly. As we zoom in, we can see that the structure of this object is infinitely complex, and it often repeats itself. Using a different formula or different parameters would give us a totally different picture. However, fractals are not restricted to the two-dimensional complex plane. Some fractals' resemblance to the real-world life forms is simply stunning. Keeping that in mind, we can say that creating mesmerizing images is not the only use for fractals. They might also help us get to know the world around us better. <laughs>